Hi there. My name is Mr. Package. Just joking. I wonder what it could be. So guys, I ordered something silly. I ordered something very silly. I got my package. My package. If you guys watch YouTube a lot, um, this is embarrassing, but, uh, Shaytards? Yeah, no? Yeah? Anyway, Shaytards. Really funny people. Check their YouTube channel out. They've got a lot of adverts and stuff like that these days because they be making money on the YouTube. But, um, Shay, Carl, this is the, the, the man of the house, he, every time I see a package, or get a package, I say it like him, package, because that's his favorite word with the k and the j together. If you are true Shaytards fans, which I am, I've watched every episode of their Shaytards vlog, I think three times over. And if you don't know what they did, they've been vlogging now. Recently, it, they passed the two-year mark every single day. So, just to let you know how much spare time I have on my hands. But anyway, today I got my package. Got my package in the mail. And I don't know if you can see it, but uh, it's a Chris Angel package. Fuck yeah. It's the Platinum Chris Angel Magic Kit with the Levitation DVD for free. All you gotta pay for is shipping and handling. I'm not sure if this was worth it. It's only $30. I really only got it for the playing cards. There's one deck that's normal and one deck that is, uh, I think it's the Svengali deck which is uh, a forcing deck. You want to force a card, then use this deck of cards. And then you can switch it back out for the normal deck, which look the same, but they're not a forcing deck. But w look up Svengali deck. If you don't have a Svengali deck, I suggest you go out and get a Svengali deck, along with a stripper deck, an invisible deck, and a uh, mental photography deck. They're about 10 bucks each. So spend $40 and get those, or maybe 50 bucks with taxes. HST. So anyway, it looks pretty. Chris Angel, mind freak. I'm a big fan of Chris Angel. Well, I used to be a huge fan. Now that I'm a little bit older, um, and I know a lot more about magic, uh, you know, I'm still a, I'm still a fan. Like, I'd love to meet the guy. I'd love to shake his, his hand as long as he doesn't shock me with his gimmicks. But it comes with some really cool toys. Now, really, I just want to check out the cards. So, here we go. A cool Chris Angel Mind Freak card case. Open! Okay, I don't know how to open that, so I'm just going to open the card box for now. This is the Mind... It's called Mind Freak Deck 1. I don't know why I keep talking like that. But anyway, let's give her... Shall we? We shall. I'm not sure. Uh, the reason I wanted to get these also is because I want to order a bunch of them. No, sorry. This kit was $30. And if you go online to try and find Chris Angel playing cards, I think they're upwards of $20 a pack. So just for the cards alone, I thought this was worth it. But let's see if these cards actually fan like a proper deck. Let's see if they're not plastic coated cards and I have a suspicion they are and now that I feel them okay this is the oh they fan nicely actually they do this is the Svengali deck so I'm not going to show you that because it's a secret deck but inside this card case it sounds like there's another deck of cards if I could only get it open there we go oh and it is so that's a mind freak deck Right? That's what it says there. This one has nothing on the sides, which is good. I guess it's just to let you know which one's the Mind Freak deck 
and which one is the normal deck. So I just want to see if these cards are fanning good, if they can handle well. And so far with the Svengali deck I've already opened, it looks pretty cool. It feels good. Okay, come on now, don't, I don't want to ruin this box already, I just got it out of the thing. You know when sometimes you have a really hard time opening a card case? But these are nice cards and I don't want to ruin them. Come on, you beam J Maricon. Oh, I shouldn't say that. There we go, there we go. I ruined the card case a little bit, no problem. I'm excited. Ooh, Chris Angel cards. Oh, they do, they feel fantastic. I think they are plastic coated though. See, they don't fan well at all. That's a shame, because I like to fan. But I'll bet they spring. Oh, they spring like a dream. These are plastic cards. Oh, they're not a bad little fan. It's the thumb fan. No, it's not successful at all. But it looks okay. It's better than nothing. So you got your Chris Angel Joker. Oh, that's a nice little Ace of Spades. My 2 has a big scratch in it. That's real friggin' nice. Thanks, Chris. Okay. Let's see what else comes in this fun little box. Alright, Chris Angel. Thank you, Chris Angel. And your team of people. That are, that are cool. Okay, cool people. Svengali deck, I'll put you away. So, it's not... Uh, not that hard to see what you got going on here. A lot of these uh, kits you can buy um, from any sort of toy shop like you know, Toys R Us or anything like that. You've pretty much got all the stuff here that you would get in a conventional um, magic kit. Except for Chris Angel has got his name on everything. His CA logo. Okay, so I'm not all about that. But it's good to have. It's a nice little collector's item. Oh, it comes with a little thumb tip that actually fits pretty good. And it looks great. It matches my skin tone all right. Comes with a couple of silks, really small silks. I like that. Small silks are a good thing. I actually don't have too many extremely small thin ones, and these are really nice and thin and light. Oh, they smell beautiful. I don't know what it is about me and smelling new stuff out of factories, but... And somehow... Well, I've heard about these before, and I've never, ever, ever once known how this works. So this... You get the spectator to put this cube in any way they want. Uh, which color, whatever color is up and down. Then they put the lid on and they hand it to you. And then you can always tell which color is facing up. But truly, I have to read the manual on this one because I have no idea, sir. No idea. So that's nice. That's all fun and games. Let me go a bit faster here because I'm already eight minutes in this video. So you've got some nice looking cups and balls with some nice, uh, these aren't really sponge balls, these are fuzzy balls. Uh, the cups and balls, they feel good. They feel good. I don't know if you, could, you can see that okay. But they, they feel nice. You can pass through one at one and one each other. You know, I, that's the only trick I know with these, with these, with these cups and balls and whatnot. <laughs> and human do. So that's the cup and balls. It comes with an awesome-looking DVD with Chris Angel's mug on it. Yeah. Oh boy, I don't want to rip anything here. Just help me out. Just help me, Jesus. Please, Jeebus. There we go. So you got all that fun stuff. That's uh, a pretty decent, uh, decently sized book. Comes with it all. Are you ready, Ultimate uh, Loyal Freak fans? You can go on the website and get some tricks. Um, this is your levitating uh, 
levitating trick. This comes with a spool of uh, this, uh, I'm not sure if it's uh, lycra spandex or elastic lycra spandex, but that is your floating bill trick, all these little tricks. These, these strands here, you can pull one small fiber out of the strand and it is indetectable. You cannot find it unless you know what you're looking for, but if you're in the right lighting, no one will ever find it. And this is another reason that I got this trick. Can't find my old one. It's really shitty looking. But uh, this is where Chris, uh, this trick here is where Chris Angel got the idea to, uh, I don't know if you remember this, I think it might have been season one or two where he puts his hand through the pane glass window in public and then he walks straight through the window. Uh, this is where he got the idea for that effect. I'm not going to show you how this works. I know how it works. It looks cool. I like the black and all that stuff. And the hole is actually big enough for a finger. Or a cigar, uh, cigar even. So that's uh, a little extra fun there. Of course, he's got his little Chris Angel logo right there. I'll probably sandpaper that off. Just because I don't like that sort of stuff. Advertisements. I don't wear many um, labels. Like the, these, these pieces of jewelry here I made. This is a watch that's a gold and diamond watch that I had sent to me from a friend that he doesn't wear it anymore. Like, I don't buy name brands. Like, this jacket here, I got this from a costume store. Uh, I don't really wear name brands. I just wear t-shirts that I find at Winners that look cool and stuff. And, and then when I'm doing my magic stuff, especially, I don't want brands anywhere near my, my work especially Chris Angel's name, because there's a lot of uh, speculation with that gentleman. Do you really think he's real? Do you really think he's he's a magic man? Do you really think... It's magic. It's called magic tricks. He's tricking you. Or illusioning you, whatever. Don't take it so seriously, people. This is a really cool version of the um, Spikes Through Coin. You got your spikes here. I'm pretty sure you could use any spikes. You could even use real nails. And maybe you could even fashion your own little box. Because this is a really neat trick and it fools a lot of people. People just can't seem to find a secret to that. You can take their coin, they can sign the coin, you put real nails through their coin, and uh, the coin is fine. And I guess we've gone over everything. Oh, sorry. These are, it's a mental effect. Uh, it's got Chris Angel's good old face and logo and sexy body on the back. Uh, maybe there's stickers, I'll get rid of them. But you can always just uh, photocopy these, make thousands of photocopies of these. It comes with about one, two, three, it comes with five of these cards. And uh, photocopy them, make copies, read the booklet, it teaches you how to do the mind freak. Or the trick, I should say. Don't call it a mind freak. That's Chris Angel's thing. That's what you guys are going to say in the comments. I can already hear it. Okay, so that's my package. Oh, jeez. I dropped everything. Okay, so, uh, no uh, trick. No trick this time. One thing I'm going to put on right now is the Levitation DVD. Because, um... I know how he does the the first levitation where he um, levit it's a self levitation, which is really cool. But maybe he'll uh, give some secrets to. Oh, okay. By the way, um, I have 50 seconds left on this tape. There's one person that commented or gave me a personal message recently, asking me how a trick was done. I have to think about it. Oh yes, asking me how Chris Angel impaled himself on the fence. And he got the spikes coming through him, okay? I found the video that discloses that secret. Just, I, c I couldn't find you again. I don't know who you are, but I remember reading that comment and not being able to respond. Or maybe I responded a bit with something like gimmicks. He had gimmicks like crazy, whatever. Contact me back again. I found the best video for you. Uh, so, uh, until then, I gotta go, guys. 15 minutes is my limit.